welcome to the new video i hope you guys are doing good and today's video is gonna be about part-time job opportunities here in sweden i get a lot of messages people and students who are willing to move to sweden for their masters or their studies asking me about part-time job opportunities so today's video is gonna be about that but before starting with the video i would like to request you if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel so that i get a little motivation to make such videos and bring some good content to so you so this video will be covering mainly three questions that uh, i get from the people and the students that are first question are there part-time job opportunities available while you are doing your masters in sweden secondly how much do these uh, jobs pay and thirdly is it possible to cover your expenses and your tuition fees while you are doing your masters like other people do in other countries like canada where they do part-time jobs and also cover their tuition fees and expenses so starting with the first question yes there are part-time job opportunities uh, while you are doing your masters which you can do in sweden and also to answer another another question uh, people ask me is uh, swedish required while if you are searching for a job or a part time job in sweden while you are studying so i would like to answer yes and no if you want to work in restaurants or food chains like uh, mcdonalds and burger king yes they would require you to know the local language because you will be dealing with a lot of people on the front end but having said that there are uh, jobs which don't require you to know swedish uh, english is absolutely fine you can work with them so naming one of the job uh, first job is uh, the delivery service where you need to deliver some of the parcels that the companies will be giving you on a daily basis so one such company is we love uh, whose training i also did but i did not join because of some personal reasons i didn't wanted to uh, invest my time in a part time job i had enough savings so the uh, the delivery services they provide you with the cycle that is a hybrid kind of cycle where you where you need to use that cycle to deliver the parcels so hybrid kind because uh, it is electrically assisted so if you are climbing or uh, you have a tough climb or ride uh, you can use the electrically assisted and you can deliver the parcels so this kind of delivery service job uh, gives you money around uh, 120 to 150 swedish kr per hour so first thing you need to understand is if you are doing a part time job uh, you will get paid per hour not that you'll get your salary every hour but you'll get the salary end of the month but the charges would be every hour so they give you some parcels which you need to deliver within 4 to 5 hours and uh, depending on your speed and you'll be get paid according to that so the minimum requirement is that you should know english and uh, you should do one shift per week one shift is 4 to 5 hours depending on the parcels you get and you'll get your money uh, at the end of the month so i would say it's a good opportunity to earn some money while you are studying so i know a lot of people i know a lot of friends who are doing this job and earning a good amount of money at the end of the month so if you want to earn some money this is one of the option and it's uh, not so difficult to get in you need to just give a small test which i also gave gave and i got into it but uh, fortunately or unfortunately i did not do it but uh, yeah it's quite easy to get in and also earn some money while you are doing your masters second part time job opportunity is foodora so foodora here is uh, like swiggy and zomato which you have it in india or uber eats if you have to say so in that you need to deliver the food parcels to the people's houses and they also they don't provide you any vehicle you should have your own vehicle if you are uh, planning to do foodora so it's also another option and they also pay you between 120 to 150 swedish krones per hour uh, but they have a minimum requirement that you need to do at least 10 hours in a week so and they are very strict with that uh, for we love i've heard that that even if you don't go for 2 uh, or 3 weeks they don't mind it but in foodora i have heard that they have very strict requirements of uh, 10 hours a week so if you are planning and also i think it's uh, a little bit easy than we love because if you have your own
own bicycle it's better to deliver fudura than carrying uh, 50 parcels and delivering so it's a better opportunity than we love i think but uh, it depends on you what kind of uh, part time you would like to choose it's very easy to get into we love i don't know about fudura much because i haven't tried it and i have not seen many people doing it but i think it's a bit easy than we love so yeah again you can earn some money with the fudora if you want to do the part time job and i know people who are working with fudora and doing regular shifts and earning a good amount of money now coming to third type of job third is uh, babysitting or dog sitting so here in sweden uh, people hire a lot of other people to babysit their dogs or their children so it's another kind of job but it's uh, a bit difficult to get in because you need reference because no one is gonna hire you if they don't know you much uh, because you could cause a potential harm to their children or their dogs so if they don't trust you they are not gonna hire you but uh, they pay a lot of good amount of money i've heard they pay you around 170 swedish krones per hour depending on the person you are working for some people i've heard they pay you 200 uh, for two or three hours so if you go like three times in a week you could easily earn six to seven hundred crones in a week and uh, yeah so these are the three kinds of uh, jobs which people mostly do here in sweden part-time jobs but uh, i am sure there are a lot of other jobs in sweden that people do so the fourth type of job is uh, doing a part-time job with the company so if you are studying something here i know people uh, approach companies that they can provide uh, their uh, time and their services for example i know people who are working with uh, companies like ericsson and uh, scania for part-time jobs wherein they have to work only two and a half or three days in a week that is around 20 hours a week and uh, they get paid of course in hourly basis but the pay is quite good 170 or 180 swedish krones and i believe this is one of the best kind of part-time jobs because uh, you get to do a lot of networking with the people working in the company and there is a potential that in future you could get a permanent employment with that company itself or, or a thesis with that company so i would if i would have to prefer i would prefer these this kind of part-time jobs where you can uh, work part-time 20 hours a week or 15 hours a week with a company well-established company or a startup so you could gain some experience and also you are, you will be working with the same thing that you are studying so i believe this is one of the best kind of job so to sum up i have discussed four kinds of jobs part-time jobs in sweden which you can do while you're studying your masters so four kind of jobs which i've discussed is first is the parcel delivery uh, with the company such as we love second is the food delivery services like fudora third one is babysitting or dog sitting which is a bit uh, difficult to get into uh, and the fourth one is doing a part-time job with the well-established or a startup company now jumping to the last question <laughs> Uh, and the most important question of the video is it possible to recover all your money or pay all your tuition fees and all your expenses doing a part time job in Sweden so the answer is no because uh, if you get paid per hour uh, with a part time job it's very dif dif difficult to even cover all your expenses the most you can cover is your rent because uh, you might earn around three to four thousand swedish krones a month and the student housing rent is almost similar to that so it's very difficult to cover all your expenses uh, leave aside your tuition fees so yeah i would say no if you are coming to sweden thinking that you will be able to cover your tuition fees and your expenses with the part time no it's a strict no because sweden is an expensive country and everything here is expensive uh, including your gross your rent uh, your travel so keep in mind that you won't be able to cover everything with the part-time yes you can support yourself by recovering by earning around three to four thousand Swedish krones a month doing your part-time jobs also depends on how much hours you are willing to give for that part-time job 
the normal expenses in sweden are around if you are a student are around 7 to 8000 swedish kronor uh, depending on your lifestyle of course if you party if you drink if you smoke they would uh, increase the expenses would increase but the minimum are 7 to 8000 swedish kronor a month and it's very difficult to cover all of them with your part time job as i have said before but i would uh, make a detailed video about the expenses here in sweden as a student uh, in the near future and and uh, having said that i would like to end the video and if you have liked the video do give it a thumbs up and uh, leave your comments in the comment section if you would like me to make any other video about sweden or any other video in the future leave the comments in the comment section i would read them and surely make the video and if you haven't already hit the subscribe button and so i can get some motivation to bring some good content about sweden for you guys in the future and uh, before leaving i would like to show you the beautiful place i'm sitting here near the river side making this video this is the place where i'm sitting and making this video and uh, as i said earlier i'm in chelftio doing my internship which is going to end in 3 weeks so i'll be back to stockholm and uh, see this beautiful scenery where i live my place is like 5 minutes walk from here And thank you so much for watching the video and keep giving me your support so I can bring you such awesome content and I'll see you next week probably on Sunday and thank you so much for watching take care and bye bye